what is the virus in pluribus and how does it work? This is the scientific breakdown. But first, my name is Dawson. I talk about film and TV every single day, so drop me a thought if you haven't already. A signal has been blasted down from 600 light years away in space. Scientists don't know how long the signal's been out for, who's sending it, or why they're sending it. But the signal isn't some sort of alien language. Instead, it's a molecular message. Each of the four tones that you hear in the signal all correspond to a different nucleotide. Guaylene, uracil, adenine, and cytosine. I've probably mispronounced all of those, but the words are above me. Which are all the key building blocks of RNA. The scientists figure out a way to recreate this molecular message and determine that it's a lysogenic virus. Which means that the virus's genetic material gets absorbed into the host. So the actual virus takes over the host, which we see in the show. And while the virus didn't really affect any of the animals, as soon as one of those rats bites the human and the virus takes takes over the human, that's when everything goes wrong. It appears that the virus spreads through DNA, and that mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact, hence all the kissing, is the quickest way to spread the virus. However, just DNA left over in places will also spread it, which is why they stop licking donuts and things. When a host is infected with the virus, they go into a seizure-like state. Now the virus has started to spread to more and more people, and over a couple of weeks, the virus slowly put more people into their hive mind, leading to the big catalyst in the first episode in which the planes fly over all all of the virus and infect every single person in the world, except the 12 people that weren't affected. Of course, 886 million people died in that initial takeover, and it was only because the military discovered the hive mind that they had to speed up the entire process and go all nuclear on everything. And if it had been done in a controlled scenario, there shouldn't have been any deaths. Which is interesting because the virus does not want to hurt or kill anyone and refuses to even kill animals. Now the only question is why do Carol's emotions affect every single person in the world? World. Why is the hive mind so desperate to get her back in? 